so hello and welcome back guys to the channel um it's been a while and i hope you guys are doing well so um in this video guys i'm basically we're gonna talking about a lot of things right about um order flow supply and demand lower time frame confirmation and all of that shit right so before we get into it um make sure you like the video subscribe if you haven't turn that bell button on for notifications and let's get into it right so um uh, first, uh, first of all i just want to speak about um the main things that i've always been teaching and i've always been doing uh to get to get to be on the right side of the market right so <clears throat> in my trading I, I always look at uh, three major things right which is structure uh, s and d and lower time frame um, confirmation so um there is a specific way of how to to marry all these things together right in order for you to get um something that's applicable right to get an arsenal that will help you um win the war right so uh okay shit so i was looking at the brush thing so our uh, three main things being what um structure right uh okay so let me just use the pathway so boom right we have um structure s and d right Boom, our, our supply points, right? Our, our demand and supply points, right? And the final thing is what? Lower time frame, uh, lower time frame confirmation. Let's zoom in a little bit. Boom. So let's take you up a little bit here. And lower time frame confirmation at this point where the pullback hits um, your 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 supply or demand zone with respective uh, to the trend. So these three things are what I've always been teaching and will always be teaching you guys to consider, right? First, you need to know the order flow, right? Your structural narrative. Where is structure going, right? If it's, uh, if it's bullish or maybe bearish, right? So once you know where structure is going, then is when you can look for what your S&D point, right? You have a bullish play. You're not going to be looking for demand zones, right? You're going to be, I mean, you're not going to be looking for supply zones. You're going to be looking for demand zones, right? Your, your last, uh, your last down move, right? Before the up move started. So when price makes that pullback for this mitigation here, you can be able to position yourself in this area here to catch what the move that targets this high as its next, next liquidity run, right? This is what we're doing, right? And how you, how do you position yourself in this area here is done through lower time frame confirmation. How, right? So, um, regarding uh, considering the fact that you you're having um, you're having a what um, a bullish play, right? And you're having your last down move before the up move as your demand zone. So you're gonna be waiting for that pullback to come into this area here to do that mitigation for you to be able to catch this move and target this high as your next liquidity run area. Now, how do you position yourself in here through lower time frame confirmation, right? You're gonna be looking, uh, you're gonna be waiting for that pullback to happen, right? So when the pullback is happening, it's basically gonna be turning this intermediary trend from bullish to bearish, right? So there's gonna be an intermediary trend being put into place like this, right? Coming towards where? Your demand zone, right? To do that mitigation. Now, once that mitigation is done, this intermediary trend will now switch from bearish back to bullish again, where this high is going to be its um, next liquidity run area, right? So, with that being said, you're going to want to see the changes of character, right? From bearish to what to bullish, right? So, you're going to in this intermediary trend. So you're gonna want to see um, this instead of price now breaking lows, you're gonna you're gonna want to see price now breaking highs, right? Price breaking highs, making that pullback into um, a demand area in there, right? And then breaking again, right? Breaking again, making that pullback into that demand area again, right? So there are two ways to enter in here through lower time frame confirmation. The first is with the first play, right? with the change of character, right? Because price was pushing bearish and now it has changed its character by breaking this high into bullish. Waiting for that pullback to happen, right? Because this is happening real quick because it's um, it's lower time frame, right? It's gonna be, it's basically gonna be like maybe the five minute, um, the 15 minute or the three minute, the one minute, right? Even seconds. So that depends on your, you know, your time frame, uh, what type of trader you are. So 
after this change of character has happened and that pull back in there so this is your entry one schematic right so this is your entry one and your stop loss is just below this low here not this overall low right let me make this clear uh, so let's zoom in a little bit boom right so if this is your entry one right here at this test and your stop loss is below this low here that initiated this break here and your second entry will be after the double break of structure meaning that this was break one and this is break two so this is your second entry after the double break of structure and that pullback in there which here will be your entry right your stop loss will be below this low now these two entries are quite different why they differ in terms of risk the first entry is i can say um riskier than the second why because in the dow theory of structure the guy said that if price um breaks structure twice then the um the new initiated structural play is more likely to hold so that means with the double break of structure this new structure being put into place which is the bullish structure is more likely to hold than um than the one with just uh, a single break of structure so in general the double break of structure is much safer to enter in than the single break of structure or the change of character so with this being your lower time frame confirmation means that your entries will be much more precise and refined than most uh, most type of traders why because if you're entering in here with um, a bullish entry right okay no this one so let's delete that and let's exchange this so if you're going in there with um with a bullish entry right your stop loss is going to be here and your take profit is going to be up there right so this will yield you um a six pip stop loss with a 60 pip take profit which is almost a one to ten right boom so that's a one to ten uh, uh, trade rather than most type of traders who would basically be looking okay so <clears throat> they have a what a bullish play right they have their last down move before the up move which is the demand zone so what they're gonna do is uh, place their limit order there their stop loss below the overall low right and they're looking to target the, the high which in turn this will be this mostly results into a one to one a one to two if if they're lucky enough maybe a one to three or, or they normally don't exceed that that's their maximum target level so this is how we smc traders surpass most of the traders why because our entries are, mu are much more precise much more safer and they have a level of refinement that yields very very big uh, profit so with this being an example um, it settles a whole new level of difference between what i teach you guys and what other traders teach you guys so as you can see people here most of most most retail and other smc traders trade like this they have their entries uh, set like that they have their one to two one to two rr one to three rr but what i teach you guys <laughs> it's an it's next level shit it's next level stuff right so boom just like that you have your one to ten rr trade also with the second entry right you can also re-enter in here right because you do have another break and a retest meaning that your entry is now perfectly assured that it's going to work out so boom your entry there your stop loss below the low right below this low and you're looking to target you know the same high which in turn this gives you a one to five so in total you have two trades with a total you have two trades running with a total of 15 rr while these guys here have just a single trade running with a total of one to two rr so this guys is the brilliance of smc um, and lower time frame confirmation so i have broken this down for you um, most of the stuff here is you know premium but in premium we go way much deeper than what i just said in here right so um, i hope this makes perfect sense to you guys uh, and if you do want to get the premium level of knowledge you could join us in our MMC footprint community and get um, way deeper and much deeper into this shit as the poster says. So you could also DM me um, on Instagram at Howitz or at official Green Pips FX and we'll be happy to receive you guys in our community and kill this together. So with that being said, let's look at one example from the actual charts and uh, I think we'll be done for the day, right? Boom. So let's delete that and 
So <clears throat> let me just give you a, a simple insight, right? We have been uh, bearish in the community in these pairs, right? We have been very bearish on EU, we have been very bearish on GU, and we have been very bullish on UJ. Why? Because of the dollar's um, strength. So um, we have been having very, very good sales ever since this break, um, this break here, ever since this break here. You know, price has been doing the same things over and over and over again, right? So yet again, you have uh, your break here, your break, your retest where at the supply point, and then the continuation with this as the next liquidity run. Yet again, the break here, right? The break of this low, break, retest at the supply point, price continues down, right? Break again, forming this low here, retest at the supply point in here, in here, price comes um, to do that retest, breaks again, right? So break, um, supply point in here, retest breaks again right so we have been you know like catching these cells like over and over and over again right <laughs> it's it's basically been fun so up until this area here right to where we did have um a pullback there and then a break again with the break of this low here where i did send out this right here as you know like our most potential pullback area with this low as, as our next liquidity run where price has been Price has come and mitigated this area. So now we are looking for sales. We have been looking for sales. We have got some very beautiful sales here that, you know, we're just taking partials along the way. And, you know, it is what it is. So price just comes here and then falls down. Same thing applies with um, with G with pound. Uh, so as you can see, guys, my chart is very, very dirty. Um, I did have this eight hour chart uh, sent out here where we did have like this breaker structure that high that low a supply point mitigation of the supply point catching all these beautiful cells in here like crazy um shit and you know it is what it is right so um let's do that example that i promised you guys and then uh, we'll be done for the day right so boom i do see something very very beautiful here right so we have your you know impulse breaker structure retest supply point right breaks again breaks this low here right retest where at your supply area breaks again right boom so let's uh let's look at this area here and see how we could have traded this area so let's just remove these and where were we here so let's just remove all of that and boom right so from um from this low here from this low here boom so this is like our break of structure right boom so we from that break of structure we have um we have a high <clears throat> and a low so <clears throat> this low will act as our next liquidity run right so boom that's our next um liquidity run and this right here as our supply area right boom so let's uh let's play this out like i don't know from from here when, when price just reaches the area so we are on the eight hour chart so our lower time frame confirmation will basically be on 15 minutes um how i know that is premium stuff right you could i mean you could use like any of the um the lower time frame charts but there are more precise charts special charts for confirmation that's in the premium stuff if you want to get it as the poster um, shows you can dm me on instagram at uh, official green pips fx and we'll be happy to receive you guys into our mmc footprint community so as i did say before right so we want to see price change its character right so if price was pushing like what bullish we want to see price changing its character into bearish making that retest taking the entry and then going short with it right so that's exact uh that's exactly the same thing that i'll be looking to see in here right Boom. So let's play this out and see how price works uh, works out. Okay, so we now have a what? Um, a high, a high, a low, a high, a low. We have a break here. We have this break here, and then price comes back up where a supply zone, right? Boom, your supply zone is in there, and this is <clears throat> your entry, right? Your short entry from there. You know, like I'm not putting this very exact. I'm just giving you guys the outlook of how this, how this is done, and you're looking to target the low with a total of um, one to twenty-eight, one to twenty-eight RR. So boom, 
let's play this out and see what happens so from this area here right so price comes up makes that um makes that retest so when price leaves we have first break of structure test break of structure again test so this entry is already at break even according to our rules um <clears throat> according to how all this is taught right in the premium level so we have price uh, we have price still running and let's see okay Let's just go to let's just go to a higher time frame so we can do this uh, pretty much quick, right? So price has already left the area and notice that this is a one to twenty eight RR with fourteen pip stop loss and a four hundred pip take profit. So boom, price runs all the way and your take profit is hit. So that's just the proof of what I of everything that I say since the beginning of the video until its very end, guys. So. If you did like the video, make sure you like it, subscribe if you haven't, turn that bell button on for notifications, and if you do want to join our premium uh, community, DM us on Instagram at official green pips effects, and we'll be more than happy to receive you guys. So with that being said, stay safe, and until the next time guys, peace out.